Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to do a new series on trigonometry, namely the right angle triangle. So what is a right angle triangle? Well, it's a triangle which has three sides and three angles, and one of the three angles has to be 90 degrees, which is this one right here, and that's a little symbol that indicates that that angle is a 90 degree angle. These kind of triangles are used a lot in math and physics, all kinds of different problems where we have to have directions relative to one another, and the angle and the right angle triangle trigonometry theory comes in very handy. So what we need to do though, starting out, is that sometimes angles are expressed in degrees and sometimes angles are expressed in radians. So just to make sure that we understand the difference between them, remember when you go all the way around a circle, let's say that this is the uh, y-axis, this is the x-axis, you start from the x-axis and you go all the way around, that is a 360 degree angle. So one complete circle, represents a 360 degree angle, which is equal to 2 pi radians. And sometimes we just write RAD for radians, to represent radians. So now if we have an angle like this that's about 20 degrees, what would that be in radians? So the relationship is that um, 360 degrees divided by 2 pi radians, whoop, and I messed that up a little bit here, uh, radians, is equal to 1. So that's the ratio. So if we want to convert from degrees to radians, this is how we do it. 20 degrees, and now we convert that to um, degrees divided by, or radians divided by degrees. So we have 2 pi radians divided by 360 degrees. And then, of course, we need a little calculator because anytime you deal with the number pi, you probably need a calculator. So now that degrees cancel out, we're left with radians, so we go 20 times 2 times pi divided by 360, and we get 0 0.349 radians. Of course, that's not an exact number, but out of three decimal places, that would be the answer in this case. So you should be able to go from degrees to radians, and if the angle is expressed in radians, can you go back to degrees, and we do it the very same way. So what is one radian in terms of degrees? One radian times, now we need degrees on top, we need radians at the bottom, and again we can go 360 degrees to 2 pi radians, or sometimes it's easier to do the relationship like this, one radian times 180 degrees divided by pi radians. So you get the exact same result, and when you do that, you take 180 and divide by the number pi, and you get 57.3 degrees. So there you can see that an angle of one radian is equal to an angle of 57.3 degrees. So normally, when you deal with the unit circle and we deal with the theory of trigonometry, we deal with angles in terms of radians. So this would be pi over two radians, uh, pi over not two, but that would be pi over four radians. This is pi over two radians, or 90 degrees, and that would be 180 degrees, or pi radians. So that's what we're used to seeing. But now when we deal with these smaller angles, it's usually much more convenient to use degrees rather than radians. And since our calculator typically works with degrees, well, actually it works with radians as well if you want to put in radian mode, we can simply then calculate the size of the sides relative to the angle. And that's what this is all about. What the, when we deal with right angle triangles, it's all about to finding the length of the sides relative to the size of the angles. So we'll go through several of the theories, but first of all, we're just gonna see the general theory about right angle triangles and how to use that theory to find the length of the sides based upon the size of the angles involved. 